Now, we've seen some big moves this offseason. Jalen Brunson going to the Knicks. DeJounte Murray traded to the Hawks. Rudy Gobert traded to the Timberwolves. We're still going to see what's happening with Kevin Durant. But an under-the-radar trade that happened on the same day as the Gobert one was Malcolm Brogdon to the Celtics. And I got to tell you, this Celtics team just got even scarier. So what is going on, everybody? How is everybody doing today? We all know that the Boston Celtics were just two games away from winning the 2022 NBA championship, led behind their young core of their two star wings, Jason Tatum, who is a future MVP, and Jalen Brown, who's one of the best young wings, um, probably going to get paid very soon as well. But yeah, they went out and acquired Malcolm Brogdon from the Indiana Pacers for Daniel Tice, Aaron Neesmith, a first round pick next year, and a couple other things, um, or a couple players were thrown in there also just to make the money work out. Now, I love this trade for Boston. Brogdon has, I believe, a new extension kicked in. Uh, I mean, it might be two years left, uh, but it could be three. Yeah, so this one is actually a little bit off. It was a downloaded roster. Um, so I'll make sure to extend them for pretty much the same amount because in 2023, he's also going to be making 22 mil and then 21 mil and then 23 mil in 2025. No option. So it'll be until his age uh, 33 season. Now, Brogdon isn't the most available player. Um, in the past couple of years for the Indiana Pacers this past year, only 36 games for them. He could have came back a little bit early if they were contending, but they were kind of tanking towards the end of the year. The year prior in 2021 for the Pacers, 56 games. Earlier in 2020, 54 games. 2019, 64 games. 2018, 48 games. So Brogdon has had his fair share of of injuries um, in the past couple of years. You could say even his defense has taken a step back um, and his offense, I would say like still one of the best shooters, um, at least from three, uh, four being that good of a free throw shooter. Also like last year, he ended up putting up um, 31 from three actually. So I'm really gonna correct myself on the spot. He was not great from three. Um, that also dropped off, but he's a career 37% three point shooter. So you think maybe in the Celtics system that can go back up. But I just think for what you gave up and Aaron Neesmith, who probably won't be able to develop fully in Boston, and love that he'll be able to develop in Indiana. They need wings desperately. Joining Chris Dorte, they just lost TJ Warren in free agency to the Brooklyn Nets. And I, and like Benedict Mathurin will be there. But I, I really like what the Celtics gave up. Like first round pick in the 20s this year. Because the Celtics, I think, are going to be one of the best regular season teams. They're actually going to be my, I think favorite to win the Eastern Conference or to be the one seed out of the Eastern Conference this year. I'm going to say that now. I think nobody's going to go ahead of them because we pretty much know what Milwaukee's done. I mean, we'll see if the Heat get Kevin Durant because that could also change some things around. But if you look at this Celtics team, it is super deep. Now, they could be maybe in line to get one more big man behind Robert Williams just for some more insurance um, instead of Luke Cornett. But you really kind of look at this team and you could throw out five guys in any type of way and you're great. Like you have now, Brogdon with Smart, you have Peyton Pritchard, you have Brown, Derek White, uh, Jason Tatum, uh, we'll see if Tony Snell gets any run, uh, Grant Williams, Daniil Gallinari, Robert Williams, Al Horford, Luke Cornett. Actually, I don't know why Tony Snell is there. I don't even know if he's on the Celtics. Either way, he's not going to play for us, but this Celtics team just got deeper, and you can have a lineup of Brogdon, Smart, Brown, Tatum, and Robert Williams, and that is one of the best defensive teams in the league. So, I got to figure out how I want this lineup to look. I think for the regular season, we will have Al Horford move over or back to the power forward position, and he's getting up there. And then also somebody I'd even mention as well, Daniel Gallinari. They just got him off the waiver wire since he was just waived by the San Antonio Spurs, and he's going to provide them great three-point shooting um, as well uh, from that backup power forward spot. You're not going to rely on him too much, but he gives you some shooting there, and they lacked some wings behind Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. So they need kind of some of those. Uh, we'll see if he plays more of the four or the three. But I really got to figure out how I want this rotation to look. Um, definitely need to start Robert Williams. But shout out to Grant Williams being an idiot in this. Glad to see him getting that love. Uh, Brogdon honestly can roll as a sixth man because I want to start the deep boy and I kind of want to start these guys. I think Horford's going to get about 26 for the regular season. 30 to Robert Williams. Let's go... 33 to Brown, 34 to Tatum, just for the regular season, and that will uh, kick up in the playoffs. 30 to Marcus Smart, 26 to Malcolm Brogdon. I'm good with 23 to Grant. I'm good with 20 to Derek White. Good with 16 to Gallo. Mm, that's tough because, like, J.D. Davis in second round pick, probably not going to find run. We don't really have a backup center. I mean, we're getting that out of Grant. Oh, God, and Gallo. But I got to play Peyton Pritchard as well. So I think Gallo's getting about 15, 18 to Grant. Probably 21 there. Maybe we'll... Uh, bump that back down we go eight to Pritchard is that too low maybe we'll go hmm, 29 to Robert 25 to Horford 29 to Smart so I can at least give 11 minutes to Peyton Pritchard for this season now we could be in the market for an half star balance wow sorry that had to cut me off but yeah we could be in the market for a center at the deadline um honestly if it came to it I could package 
uh, Derek White for for a um, center as well. So that could be um, something that could happen. I'll wait and see to see where we are, but not up to the greatest start. But yeah, we should be finals favorites, or at least in finals contention every year of this Malcolm Brogdon Celtics rebuild. Okay, so we're at the 2020, this would be three trade deadline. It's gonna just say 2022 in the top right because I did download a roster for this. I'm waiting to find like the best scenario um, that kind of has the updated contracts and the roster. So if you know any, let me know down below. This is just an updated roster. So technically the years are gonna be off on the top right, which is fine. But we are the two seed in the East, one game behind the Toronto Raptors and I got to make a decision if I want to trade for a backup center. Uh, Tatum is putting up solid numbers, 24, 7, 5.5. I'm fine with that in the regular season. We know he's going to take it up a notch in the playoffs. Jalen Brown also have a, having a fantastic season. Really liking what I'm seeing out of Malcolm Brogdon, um, as well as Robert Williams. Marcus Smart has been fine this year. I'll take a 55-2 shooting out of him. We've seen him in past two Ks where that's not great. Al Horford is doing really well. Man, he's having a great age 36 season. There's Derek White, Danilo Gallinari, Grant Williams, um, and Peyton Pritchard. So Williams' shot tendency was low. That's why he's not averaging too much. I got to figure out, though, do I want to move um, Mr. Derek White? I mean, we had that trade exception, but that definitely expired. We can maybe package Luke Cornett for a backup center. But then, like, I'm not going to go on 11-man rotation. And if I get a center in the playoffs, maybe I move Al Horford to the bench. Um, and he can kind of be that pseudo backup center man which might be the way to go because i can always move Derek white in the off season so i think i'm going to do that and i'm not going to end up making a trade um let me just look at the finances some of the years could be off a little bit this is still kind of like a trial and error um roster that i'm using but uh yeah i think we can also look to target a center in the off season like we can look to package Derek White and maybe Grant or Derek White and Pritchard or something like that. But like Robert Williams in the playoffs is going to be playing 32 plus minutes a night. So I really don't need to get a center just to play him 10 minutes or at least give up valuable assets or rotational guys for that said backup center. All right, so we ended up as the two seed here in the Eastern Conference. Nikola Jokic technically wins his third straight MVP. Yeah, so like the years pro are a little bit off here um, with like a player like Kate Cunningham winning rookie of the year. So you just have to disregard that for now. We're still in like that limbo period of trying to figure out like a start today roster. So I do apologize for that, but I don't think that will bother really anybody too much. I think I'm in my own head. We're trying to be a perfectionist with that. We get Tatum on all NBA third team. We also get Robert Williams an all defensive second team. Let's go. So in round one of the playoffs, we are going to be taking on the Atlanta Hawks uh, with their new back court of Dejounte Murray and Trey Young. I'm interested to see if I'm going to be doing another Hawks rebuild later on with the post John Collins. I just don't know what any trade for uh, Collins will look like um, at this point. Like maybe a team, I don't know. I was going to say San Antonio, but they would have wanted him in the Murray trade. So clearly they don't want him. Maybe a team like Charlotte would be interested in John Collins, but I don't know if they'd want to trade him in division. Same with Washington. Um, I mean, Sacramento, probably not because uh, they that would have been like centered around maybe Herder in a bigger deal. I don't really know who would want John Collins. Portland, probably not. That would be tough now that they have Jeremy Grant. Uh, Detroit, I'm sure, is not really looking to give up more future assets for guys at the moment. So the stats are pretty similar to where they were, where I la uh, left off with you guys. I also signed Horford to a contract extension. I don't know why it says four years, 77 mil. Or I guess that, that team option becomes fully guaranteed. Ah, uh, and past 2Ks, or at least with the player option, that would erase, and then the new contract would slide in. You know what? That's fine. Al Horford has been good for us. I think for the playoffs, he is going to technically come off the bench, and I'm going to go with Brogdon in the starting five. Yeah, Brogdon is going to be the shooting guard where he kind of was in Milwaukee, and that's what we are going to run with. That means Peyton Pritchard, who had a solid season, and I think he will get a lot of run with us next year, um, or will play more, because Gallo, I don't know how much he's going to be here, especially if he starts regressing. He could be gone. Uh, Derek White and Gallo are going to get about 15 minutes a night, 20 to Grant Williams. Now i got 15 more minutes to play with. Let's go 40 to Tatum, 36 to Brown. You guys want to see me play these studs in the playoffs more. Let's go 29 to Brogdon, 29 to Smart. And let's just go 31 to Robert Williams. Yeah, he might be our third most important player for these playoffs. Season proficiency is four and a half star balance. Let's see what happens here against the Atlanta Hawks. Game one, we lose. Oh, I see the Celtics always do so well in the sim, and of course, it's just not going to end well for me. Uh, Trey Young beats me in game one, and they go up 2 0. Come on. Really, whenever I'm boss, like with Boston, I don't do well, but I always see them ball out in the simulation. Tatum had, like, like I said, he was going to turn up a notch on the playoffs, but clearly it doesn't matter if we're down three games to zero. <laughs> what is going on? Oh my goodness. Is somebody like just like completely being a negative player right now? Marcus Smart, I mean, he can't hit a shot to save his life. Derek White can't hit a shot to save his life. Neither can Grant Williams or Daniela Gallinari. That's great. Don't get swept. Oh my God, we got swept in round one. We lost by 7, 15, 3, and then 15. Oh my goodness. This Celtics team that is going to be probably finals favorites, or at least to come into the Eastern Conference going into the year, loses in round one. Gets swept. What? 
Like, what just happened for us? I mean, Malcolm Brogdon was great. Jalen Brown was really good. Tatum was really good. How was Robert Williams? I mean, his scoring dipped down a little bit. Damn. All right. Well, that sucks. I think this is going to give me a clear excuse to move Derek White in the offseason. Al Horford was fine. Maybe I should have keep, kept him at the power forward spot. Um, maybe Smart, I should have moved to the bench early on. But we really got no offensive output out of Derek White, Marcus Smart, Grant Williams, or Daniil Gallinari. That is just an embarrassing playoff run for us. So, all right, this might be a challenge. And the Timberwolves win it all. All right, that's pretty cool. Carl Anthony Towns is your finals MVP. Obviously, it's cool because... They actually, it worked out getting a chip with the newly acquired center and Rudy Gobert. Okay, so we don't have our first round pick in this draft, but like I said, I still want to maybe package Derek White um, for a backup center. We could look at Sam Hauser, but Sam Hauser's not terrible, but like, I don't know. Is Gallinari going to be an interesting part of our team? Does he have a team option on next year? He might. Or no, I'd actually, I'm not really sure. It could be a player option as well. Some of these contracts are confusing me. Unless he retired. Huh. I might have missed that. Did Gal, yep, Gal retired. Okay. So that clears up a wing spot right there. Uh, that might make me want to keep Derek White at this moment, but it really doesn't. I mean, I wouldn't mind giving Sam Hauser some run, uh, but let's see if we can package Derek White and maybe Luke Cornette for a solid backup center. Yeah, I'm not looking for Nikola Vucevic. I'm looking for somebody that can be a solid rim protector off the bench, play 15 minutes a night, and won't cost me too much money. That's Jakob Pertl right there, but why would they want Derek White back? And that really just wouldn't really make a lot of sense. We could look at Nerlens Noel, if the Pistons are looking to get better on the wing, I don't really want Kelly Olynyk back in Boston, but I wouldn't mind, ooh, Nicholas Claxton. Um, Nick Claxton. Uh, yeah, Nick Claxton, not Nicholas. My bad on that. But if we maybe did a Derek White for Claxton swap, I don't know if the money can get um, matched out there. Derek White for Rashawn Holmes, maybe? Hmm, let's try Claxton first. I don't know if they would trade in division, but does the money even work here? It does not. And that's what acquire four mil more than allowed. I'm not taking on any bad deals. Um, and at the moment, this would really be tough. I mean, Nerlens Noel wouldn't be, or uh, Nerlens Noel, Royce O'Neal wouldn't be bad, but I don't know. All right, let's try Nerlens Noel because I don't need to play him too much. Does this money work? It does. Derek White for Nerlens Noel. They get a perimeter guard to come off the bench, like, or maybe they want to have Ivy run the second unit. That could be a possibility with them. So let's see if they would do White for Noel. We save a little bit of money because uh, they have, Celtics have been going way into the tax. Uh, so this would help us out there. I don't know if I could steal. Mm. All right, I don't know about their draft pick situation. I don't think there's going to be anybody else I would want to take a flyer on. I mean, Gabriel Procida, maybe? I don't know. Isaiah Livers? Uh, I don't even know if I would ever use him. So let's just try this. Maybe I snag a second next year, and boom, they agree to that. And then we kind of save money in the longer term as well, because Noel just has, I think, one year left on the deal. All right, so yeah, he's going to play like 12 minutes a night or something. I just think we need another backup center that at least isn't too old, because Al Horford could easily regress this year. I mean, we're going to see him play a progression. So we're going to pick up the team options on Grant Williams and Peyton Pritchard. I'm still pretty confident about this team. I just maybe think we got just some bad 2K luck this year. So yeah, I think we're going to go pretty much with the rotation we have we don't really have any free agents at all and yeah we do see some regression out of Jalen Brown which hurts a little bit because he's only 26 years old not really sure why we're seeing that Al Horford there's the big regression mark okay and I mean we could easily so see some regression out of like Malcolm Brogdon next year which would suck uh Davison went up Luke Cornette went up I don't know if any of those guys are gonna get some run this year we'll see all right so let's take a look at this rotation for our second season together okay I'm really confused why it says 2022 in the top right because shouldn't that say 2023 we've already got a full season together I don't know if that's a 2k glitch but yeah that should say 2023 in the top right uh but either way Tatum for the regular season can play 35 we'll go 33 to Brown um Smart will get 28 we'll start with the Williams in the front court you know I can get behind that so let's go 30 there 26 to Grant 28 to Brogdon Horford can get 22 Noel's gonna get about 14 minutes a night and I think Pritchard can get about 17 minutes a night and then we can actually give some playing time to Sam Hauser I'll give him seven minutes but he probably will not be uh, playing for us in the playoffs five star balanced and I haven't even made that many crazy moves at all in this video and we have five star system proficiency let's go I'll see you guys at the end of the season and let's hope that this team can actually get out of round one this time so Jokic is just gonna win MVP every Every year we're the one seed in the eastern conference though hey there we go we get a mayo doka with the coach of the year award jason tatum makes all nba first team and we do give robert williams an all defensive second team let's go so in round one of the playoffs we're taking on the milwaukee bucks who are the eighth seed here in the east tatum averaged 27 and a half points eight rebounds five assists 
52 44 88 percent shooting he is elite jalen brown um also put up a very good season i'll get to his new contract extension as well as what i had to do with brogdon in a second brogdon was good also um he was pretty efficient 57 percent shooting he's 31 though he's getting up there in age i would say robert williams did better this year maybe just the williams in the front court works a little bit and grant with an elite shooting season from grant let's go um marcus smart put up a solid year i can't rely on it i might I'm debating if I want to put him off the bench for the playoffs, and Sam Hauser is always pretty bad. So, for this rotation, uh, Sam Hauser is not going to play. I might just do this and have Smart come off the bench. I don't know if that's kind of crazy, but I think I'm going to roll with it. Let's go 27 there. I'd like to go 38 to Tatum, 36 to Brown, 30 to Brogdon, and let's go 31 to Robert Williams. I don't know if I'm disrespecting Smart there. Also, I did re-sign um, Jalen Brown to a new three-year deal, I believe this is. Um, so he's going to pay a decent amount of money. And Brogdon, I also gave an extension as well through 2026. So can we please not get bounced in round one? Um, they got TJ Warren there in Milwaukee now. All right. Uh, they got Chris Boucher as well. So it's a very tough round one matchup. And we're already we're down two to one. Come on. What is going on? Oh, we already lost in round one last year. Can the same thing not happen to us this year? All right, Tatum, you need to... I don't know, though. That's still a great... Yeah, no, he's been fine. Field goal percent, like, smart. Comes to the playoffs, him. this guy can't hit a shot. Al Horford shooting way better from three than he is from the field. Grant Williams can't hit a shot to save his life. Good Lord. Game five rubber match here. We do win. All right, being up 3-2 is so much better than being down 3-2. And we win in six. Okay, so we do get a playoff series victory under our belt. Grant Williams redeemed himself in that game six. Let's freaking go. Did Smart get a little bit better? No, not really. All right, so now we have the Miami Heat in round two. Have they added anybody to this team? They got KCP there, which moved Tower Hero to the bench. Uh, they got Nikola Jovic still. How's he been for them so far? All right, he didn't really play his rookie year, but he was pretty good this past season. So Heat versus Celtics. We saw this in the bubble. We just saw this last year. Uh, the Celtics have beaten them twice, but they blow us out by 34 in game one. Max Schust with the 24 piece. Are you kidding me? Okay, we do win game two and we blow them out. All right, blowouts back and forth. Wasn't that like this series when they played in real life this year? Uh, we do take a two to one lead. Let's take a three to one lead. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. They win game one. I get scared and Tatum says, nope, we're going to be okay. And we win in five. We just blew him out in most of our dubs. Let's freaking go. Yeah, Tatum went off in that round. Robert Williams was great. Jalen Brown was fantastic. Smart. That's what I need out of you, Marcus Smart. Give me those type of numbers. Grant, can you play better, please? I'm going to need that when we're going up against Charlotte here on the conference finals. Uh, they got Mark Williams at the five. They got Derek Rose off the bench now. Cody Martin. Mm, we do win game one. Um, they are a two seed though, so I really can't take them too lightly. Grant, he just has these type of performances. 25, 7, and 11. Are you kidding me? He went 7 for 13 from 3. Let's freaking go, Grant. This is going to be the Grant Williams series, baby. He's going to be that... Who gets the Eastern Conference um, Award? It's like Larry Bird, right? He's going to get that Larry Bird trophy. And we sweep him. Let's freaking go. In game 3, Tatum had a great game. Um, Grant was still solid like eight five and four is good with me and in game four uh he played great yes i call out grant williams he plays phenomenal and we um gentlemen sweep the heat in the semifinals. we sweep the hornets in the conference finals and here we are grant williams man what a series jalen brown struggled but no who cares because grant williams stepped up as the number two option let's freaking go who do we have in the finals it is the minnesota timberwolves so clearly this team is stacked all right let's see what this team could do they're starting Jalen noel at that shooting guard position cat and gobert i might have to adjust this team if we do drop game one i would really kind of mess with the lineup but hey it doesn't matter tatum gives me a 47 11 and six piece grant with a great game robert williams perfect i missed that one free throw Jalen, i need you to step up man you had a rough conference finals can't have that in the nba finals come on did you listen to me he listened to me let's freaking go marcus smart with a great performance brogdon with a double double come on let's win this game 3-0 yes we beat him by four this is the celtics luck i wanted this same not whatever happened last year how do we go from getting swept last year six five four don't blow a three to oh lead please yes let's go the boston celtics win the nba finals and jason tatum is your finals mvp let's freaking go we sweep the minnesota timberwolves let's go man we end up winning a championship in year two of course we're gonna do one more year i would like to see if i can go back to back next year we might have to make a move to this team al horford's getting older 
Brogdon's getting older. We got some other players getting up there in age. So we'll see what I can do here in the off season. All right, so let's see what kind of adjustments we want to make to this team next year. I mean, like Brogdon's getting older. Like I said, Horford's getting older. So there probably will be a move to make. All right, so it's the NBA draft time. And yeah, we see a lot of progression now, but that won't always come. So we do have the 30th pick. We have some seconds. I'll just make my selections. Don't know if I'm going to change the team up too much. So we got a guy by the name of Jonathan Young out of Kansas at 30. We got Steven Simmons, Jamal Samuels, and Eldon Jeffries. I uh, don't know if any of those guys will play. So New Orleans Dewell, I think is fine as a backup center. I'm going to pick up that team option. JD Davidson will bring back as well. We're about to pay Grant Williams a lot of money this offseason. I'm glad we were able to win a championship with the Williams front court. Oh, damn. He is a hot commodity out there, but not really. None of them are really like real offers yet. So I don't think I have to worry about that. So after moratorium, we're going to look to bring him back. Let's see on how much a year. 16 mil a year. What about if we did 18 mil flat rate? So 18 or four years, 72 mil. That's pretty good. Grant Williams, you're getting paid right now. All right, so let's see player progression. Uh, no regression to Smart, which is good, or Brogdon, which is nice. Horford does regress a lot. Yeah, I might need New Orleans to step it up this year. I don't know if I can continue to play Horford 20 plus minutes a night, um, which is that regression and his numbers going down and him getting up there in age. So uh, yeah, our lineup will look a little bit different next year. Yeah, this is really weird. Now it says 2023. I don't know why I didn't reset last year to or go to 2023 last year. But uh, yeah, so like the team will look like i said a little bit different or at least the rotation um we had pretty much a good core and i feel like the celtics have a good timeline they have a good mixture of vets young players players in their prime i think the celtics are probably gonna win the east next year i mean their toughest test will be milwaukee we'll see how philly comes together brooklyn looks like it's imploding and i guess miami because they could trade for mitchell they could trade for kd there's still a lot out there um so i think i want brogdon to start smart off the bench we got the williams we got pritchard playing uh noel and horford so horford's getting about 13 we'll go 18 and noel 20 to pritchard so he's getting a nice minute boost this year he was very efficient for us last year and has been for us smart's gonna get about 26 minutes a night 30 to robert uh, we'll do 29 or t yeah, to the time, we'll 28 to Grant, uh, for the regular season, sure, 38 to Tatum, 34 to Brown, and we'll do 31 to Brogdon, and then I'll do 32 to Mr. Grant. System proficiency is five stars, and I'll see you guys at the end of the year. Let's hope we can go back to back. Like, we just dominated the playoffs last year, like, lost this, or uh, beat the Bucks in six was our biggest test, and then we, what, swept, or beat the Heat in five, swept the Hornets, swept the Timberwolves. I think we can go back to back. All right, so we are a one seed again this year as Jaden Hardy finally wins rookie of the year. Nicole Jokic, he just wins MVP every year. Remember when I did the GOAT race career sims? That would be fun to do one with Jokic. Shout out to Ime Odoka winning coach of the year again. And Jason Tatum getting on all NBA first team. And a Robert Williams takes him an all defensive first team award as well. We have the Brooklyn Nets in round one. I don't know what team Kevin Durant's going to be on next year. I think like it could be the Nets still. It could. Like he's got four years left on his deal. Like, he's got how many years to like cement his legacy. Like he will probably play. Um, if the Nets are like, yeah, there's a 0% chance we trade you. We're just not. You have four years on your deal. You can't retire and not like like yeah like you gotta play for us like there's no nothing you can do i would probably do that if i were the nets i'm like yeah katie you got four years left you don't many years left in this league like you gotta play for us you're not gonna sit out four years but we saw some great seasons out of tatum brown brogdon grant time lord yeah everybody was really good horford he's regressing a little bit for the playoffs he's not gonna play as much he's probably gonna play like 10 minutes a night 18 to noel is probably necessary uh 20 to pritchard yeah this man's efficient he really is. Uh, Smart 26 is fine. Probably just go 35, 39, 31. We're going to roll with that. We're taking on the Nets in round one. They got Kyrie, Cam Thomas, Ben Simmons, KD, Daron Sharp. They got Kessler Edwards, who I think has won a six man of the year award in this video. Um, and we end up beating them in six. So similar to last year, we went in six in round one. Brown was actually the leading scorer in that series. Taking on the Raptors here in round two. They got Taylor Maladon, Gary Trent, OG Ananobi, Scotty Barnes, Preston Sachua. They got Pascal Siakam coming off the bench. And we are going to win in seven against them. Let's go. We blew them out in game seven. And Tatum with a spectacular performance as we are now in our conference finals for the second straight year in a row. I still don't know how in year one we lost in round one to the Hawks. And not just lost, we got swept. Tatum went off in that series. Brogdon was great. Robert Williams shot 74% from the field. Smart with his typical can't play in the playoffs. Yep, that is sick. Like Mather beat an 85. How's he been for them? He was really good last year. I'm excited for that new Pacers rebuild. Post Brogdon, Mathurin. I do want to see if they move Miles Turner. Like, I could still see Charlotte making a move. 
um, or some other team um, trading for him. And we end up beating them in five. And we're going on to a rematch. Minnesota is turning into a dynasty. That is their third straight finals appearance. Where was this in my Gobert Timberwolves rebuild 2K? I didn't get that luck there. Um, but yeah, pretty much uh, Brown was the leading scorer again in that series. Brown might be on his way to getting finals MVP if we were to beat the Timberwolves. Um, and they have a very good team. So let's see who wins the... This would be technically 2025. Wait, this would be 2023 or 5. This would be 2025. Let's see who is able to win it all. And I'm actually dumb because... Or no. Am I dumb? No. So remember when I said in year one it didn't switch? I think I realized now that it did switch. It went from 21 to 22 and I thought it was supposed to say 23. So just ignore me as we're going to win our second straight finals. Let's freaking go. We beat the Tim Wolves two years in a row. We beat him in five here. Jason Tatum takes home finals MVP over Jalen Brown. Was it deserving? I, I guess. Yeah. In that series, probably it looks like it. He had more rebounds, way more assists, more points. Field goal percentage was slightly worse. Uh, Three-point percentage was also a little bit slightly worse. Free throw percentage was better. I would say it belonged to Jason Tatum. But yeah, that is going to be it for me. I hope you guys did enjoy. Drop a like if you enjoyed the Malcolm Brogdon Celtics rebuild. I'm ending my success right there because if I think I think if I do another year, I'm going to end and it's going to be frustrating. I want to end on a good note. Two straight back-to-back -back finals victories over the Minnesota Timberwolves. Like I said, drop a thumbs up if you guys did enjoy. My next rebuild will be out on Thursday. It'll be a 10-year rebuild. I think it's going to be... Uh, I think it might be a 10-year Jazz rebuild post Gobert, and I still want to do a 10-year Spurs rebuild post DeJounte Murray. So those might be my next two rebuilds. Um, and I might sprinkle a new Kings rebuild in there. I could sprinkle like a new-looking Powell Bank Carroll Magic rebuild. Um, I could do that because I don't think I haven't done that yet. So I might do that. So be on the lookout. I love you guys, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.